This is a GCSE video about electrical transformers. In order to understand transformers, the first thing that we need to remember is about electrical power. Now, power is two things. It's the energy transferred per unit of time. So the higher the power of something, the more energy it transfers. But power is also an electrical circuit related to the current multiplied by the voltage, IV. So the power is the current times the voltage, and the power is also the amount of energy transferred per unit of time. When we transmit electricity from a power station all the way to our homes, we transmit it sometimes very long distances. Now we want to transfer the same amount of energy in the same amount of time, so we need to keep that power constant. We need to keep the power that's leaving the power station the same as the power that arrives in our homes. So you've seen big electricity cables, and they run all the way across whatever country you're in to people's homes. However, inside these cables there is some resistance, and the more current that is flowing, the more electrons that are moving, the more likely those electrons are to crash into things and to dissipate that energy and to heat up the wires. So the higher the current, the hotter those wires get. So what we really want to do is we want to make the current as low as possible so we minimise how much we're heating up those wires and we minimise the amount of energy we are wasting heating up the wires. The more current, the more heat. The less current, the less resistance and so the less heat. So that's what we want. But remember we want to keep the power the same. We want to have the same power leaving the station as there is in your house. So the way that we do that, if we bring down the current, we have to bring up the voltage. Bring down the current, bring up the voltage, and the power stays the same. The amount of energy that you're transferring stays the same. Now the way that we do that is here and here we have transformers. Now, transformers are a way of changing this ratio, changing the amount of current and the amount of voltage that is travelling through the wires. And what that does is it reduces the amount of heat lost. So this one here, this transformer here, is called a step-up transformer. Oops. A step-up transformer. And this one here is called a step-down transformer. The step-up transformer increases the voltage and so decreases the current and the step down transformer transfers it back again. So for a step down transformer the voltage goes down and the current goes up. So it goes back to a usable amount of current. Now let's look a little bit closer at what these things actually do and how they work. So here I've drawn two examples of transformers. Now here on the input, we'll focus on this one on the left first, and on the input we have an alternating current, and that comes from the power station. So the alternating current, remember, is going positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. When this alternating current comes in, remember that when a current flows through a wire, it creates a magnetic field. Now, inside that transformer, inside that coil, there is an iron core. Now, remember, iron is a soft magnetic material, and so whenever there is a 
current flowing through this wire, it creates a magnetic field, and that magnetic field magnetizes this iron core. So this AC current is creating a magnetic field inside the iron core. And remember, the current is alternating, and so the magnetic field will alternate as well. It'll go north-south, south-north, north-south, south-north, lots and lots and lots and lots of times a second. Because the iron core is a square like this, that magnetic field also is created over here, inside this second coil. And when you have a magnetic field inside a coil of wire, it creates or induces a current inside that coil. So the magnetic field of the iron core is pushing those electrons around the circuit. And so what's happening here is an electric current is being induced in the second coil. Now we call this one the primary coil and this one the secondary coil. And the alternating magnetic field in the iron core induces an alternating current in the secondary coil. That alternating current then goes on and travels through wires to our homes. Now you'll notice the differences between the primary and the secondary coil is how many times it's wrapped around the iron core. And if you have the number of turns increasing, then that is a step up transformer, which means the voltage is going to increase and the current is going to decrease. In this one, this is the opposite way round. It's going from lots of turns to not very many turns. And so this one is a step down transformer, which means the voltage is decreasing and the current is increasing. So this one would be, the current would flow through this one as it came from the power station. It would increase the voltage and decrease the current. So we could transfer that electricity all the way down here with a low current so it gets to our house without losing too much energy through heat. And then when it gets to our house, it runs through a step down transformer, which brings the voltage back down and the current back up, which makes it more useful. When we've got a very high voltage and a very low current, it's not very useful in our homes, so we need to balance it back out again, which is what the step down transformer does near our homes. Now there is a way of uh, calculating exactly what effect the number of turns has, and that's with this equation here. So that's the voltage going to the primary coil divided by the voltage going to the secondary coil, the voltage coming out of the secondary coil, is the number of turns on the primary coil, and it's in this case one, two, three, four turns, divided by the number of turns on the secondary coil, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the, the ratio of turns on the primary coil to the secondary coil is four to seven, and that would be the same ratio as the voltage. So this equation is useful for working out exactly how much that voltage is gonna change. The, then we can relate that to current, and in the same way it's based on ratios, so IP VP equals IS VS. So that's the current in the primary coil times the voltage in the primary coil is the same as the current in the secondary coil times the voltage in the secondary coil. And remember, power is current times voltage. So what that equation is really saying is the power in the primary coil is the same as the power in the secondary coil. So power always stays the same. And that's what we won't remember. Power is the amount of energy our circuit is transferring. And so the power is staying the same. And that's what we want to have at our homes. We want to keep the power. So these two equations can tell you the relationship between the coils and how the voltage is changing and therefore how the current is changing as well. And that is how and why we need transformers.